It's a little bit older, but here's a really good review article published in 2007 from the Illumina Group on the whole genome genotyping technologies that they use on their beta ray platform. Let's take a look through this article and stop at figure one. Figure one is worth spending some time studying about in detail. In particular, we're going to take a look at the single base extension method. That's part C of this particular figure. So let's start with an example. And to begin, let's think about um, SNPs that are associated with redheads. And if you just type that in the Google, go to Snippedia, you'll end up with this um, RS number that corresponds to SNPs that are associated with Irish redheads. And there's the sequence, and CT in red brackets represents the SNP. You can find this in 23andMe data. So, for example, there it is in my genome browse. Let's go back and copy that sequence and paste it into Marvin Sketch, get it all situated in a way that looks nice. And this is the original article that that same group published. And if you look at the details in this article, especially if you go to the supplementary material, you'll find just how that sequence was attached to covalent beads. And so a quick scan through this, you see some chemistry. We're going to focus on this figure here, figure four. That's the chemistry that they describe in, as being most successful. So let's go ahead and look at the end groups, the three prime end on the right, five prime end on the left. That's that group. The three prime end it has something known as an FMOC group. You don't know what that is. Just type FMOC and attach it to there. Now you can expand it and there you see the FMOC group. How about that five prime amino group that was mentioned in that figure four? Well, if you go and search through the Google, dig down a little bit, you'll come to some companies, and if you search through those companies, you'll find that they offer a variety of different amino-tagged um, nucleic acids. So there's an amino, 5' prime amino. So let's make that the amino group. And now we have um, the two ends and the chemistry that's associated with it. Let's build that chemistry that's associated with the covalent attachment onto the surface of the bead. So it's a, something known as a cyanuric acid. It has these nitrogens in an aromatic ring, and the attachment is to a silica. Silica, because it's a glass bead, silica is SiO4. So it's going to be attached with three hydroxyl groups, and the fourth group is going to be that cyanuric acid. We can make that covalent linkage. If you looked at that figure and studied it, you would see that that's the bonds and atoms that are involved. Let's get that uh, FMOC group, go back here. Uh, we saw that that FMOC group was eventually removed after attachment, so there is the sequence that's going to be used to probe for the presence of a SNP associated with redheads.